Hey guys, this is Tantrum V1 with my very next video update. Today we're going to be talking about Windows Phone 7, Android Gingerbread 3.0 and WebM Video. Now Windows Phone 7 has just been announced um, in New York a couple of days ago and it's going to be coming to Australia under Telstra and Optus. Telstra is going to be with the HTC Mozart 7 and the LG Optimus 7Q, whereas Optus is going to have the uh, Samsung Omnia 7. Now all these phones are going to be running Windows Phone 7 and if you haven't heard of Windows Phone 7 yet then you must have been under a rock because it's been huge news it announced all over the world and as you can see it's going to be released all throughout the world um, in the next couple of weeks or months. Uh, so Windows Phone 7 is basically Windows answer to iOS 4. They have completely trashed their Windows 6.5 mobile and in favor for Windows Phone 7 which is a touchscreen user interface. Um, now it works on the basis of these tiles all throughout the home screen. As you can see in this video it looks really stable and really clean. That's because of their new Metro interface which has these titles that come across the top of your phone um, and the words kind of spill off the sides and it really deals with a it's kind of like having a small screen where and the whole user interface actually takes up more space than the screen so all you do is you flip from side to side to see various uh, spaces that you have um, so it's called panorama view so metro UI panorama view all these things come in to make Windows Phone 7. Now it seems to be very stable and it's interesting, it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to pan out for Windows. Now Android is also going to release a new OS called Android 3.0 Gingerbread. Um, it's going to feature a brand new user interface which is said to be slightly similar to the Gallery 3D interface that you have right now on Froyo 2.2 phones. Um, so I really like the Gallery app. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think that's mainly because the present hardware or the hardware on the people's phones just isn't strong enough to support such a graphical, a complex graphical interface. I think if, if you throw in a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor and 512 megabytes of RAM, then you should see quite a big in, uh, increase in performance. So I think it'll be very interesting to see what Android's going to come up with next. Now they're saying that the low end phones are going to stay with Froyo 2.2, whereas the high end phones are going to have Android Gingerbread. And the reason how they, um, how they justify this is because they say that Android Gingerbread will not run on older hardware. So the recommended hardware uh, specifications for Android 3.0 is a 1 GHz processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, and there are various um, screen limitations as well, I think. It is more um, compatible with um, tablets. So you might see Android 3.0 tablets being released and a whole new plethora of Android tablets which will be way better than the Froyo tablets they have now. Uh, Google has already announced that Froyo is not for tablets so it's obvious that Google is against people putting Froyo onto tablets. They want you to put Gingerbread on these tablets and a couple of companies have been waiting for Gingerbread to come out just to release these tablets. So brand new phones with Android on them, brand new Android tablets you got the BlackBerry tablet also coming out, so um, the choices are going to be much more right now in the tablet field. Gingerbread is going to be shipping with WebM support, which is a free video codec that is, um, well, it's free to use for anybody. Now, this was supposed to become the standard for HTML5, for video within HTML5 but it has not become the standard because there is another contender waiting to become the standard which is H.264 video. Now most of YouTube videos are in H.264 format and um, H.264 unlike popular belief it is not free. There are companies that stand to make millions if not billions of dollars if H.264 does become the standard for HTML5. These companies such as Apple and Microsoft are already, already lobbying against WebM video to have their own codec supported um, and it will be interesting to see what happens and where that goes. Now the problem with H.264 video in the future is that when they start charging people for using their codecs, which should happen sometime around 2016, um, it would take a very 
a large amount of money for browsers and other companies to start up start up their companies and get their products out there now for example in order to make a very new browser uh, or an innovative browser in the future that has h.264 support you would have to pay five million dollars just to have it support that one video codec whereas with webm video you can do that for absolutely free so you decide which video you want so what do you think? Which phone would you get? Um, which operating system would you want on your phone? iOS 4, Windows 7, Android Gingerbread, or something completely different from that? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.